Hey everyone and welcome to Bite Size Tactics. In this video I wanted to have a look at the Neuro Tyrant, one of the new characters for the Tyranid army. Starting with the Neuro Tyrant's profile, it's very slow at only a 6 inch movement and it's at toughness 8 which is a bit mediocre. It also has a very bad armor save at a 4 plus but it's pretty much a null and void armor save as it already has an invulnerable save of 4 plus and 9 wounds as well isn't that great. It's got a leadership of 7, which is okay for Tyranids, and an OC of 3, which again is okay and currently costs 105 points. So the profile in itself, it's a very mediocre, not really attention-grabbing kind of profile when you look at it. Now there's a lot to unpack with both keywords and abilities, so we'll start off with the keywords and with the monster keyword. It needs to be known that it is important for abilities and stratagems throughout the game, as well as the detachment that you might be playing, such as Crusher Stampede. It also has the Synapse keyword, which is great for the army itself, and it also has the Character keyword as well, and that's great as it can then take enhancements. Now starting with the abilities, the first one is No Bash. So while this model is leading a unit, you get plus one to the hit roll, and if your target is Battleshock, you get plus one to the wound roll as well. The next one is Psychic Terror, so when you call for Shadows in the Warp, all Battleshock tests are subtract 1 from that roll, and that can come in quite clutch, especially for primary points. Finally, it also has Neuroloids, so in your command phase you can select up to 2 units within 18 inches of this model, and they count as being in sign-ups range of your army until the next command phase. Now looking at the weapons, for ranged weapons the Neuro Tyrant has the Psychic Scream, now this has ignores cover, psychic, and torn abilities, and it's quite good at killing light infantry at strength 5, minus 1 AP, and 2 damage. And with 2 d6 attacks, it can do quite a bit of damage in big units, or just pick up really small 5-man units. In melee, the Neuro Tyrant only has its claws and lashes, and it's not anything to really worry about. It's got 6 attacks, but with no AP and only 1 damage at strength 5, it's not something to really bank on. Now looking at the weaknesses, it's very slow for a monster and it doesn't have the durability that it might need to then make its way up the board by itself. You also need to be careful of combat efficient units that can tie up the Neuro Tyrant and possibly take it out within a turn. And also I've put down Concentrated Fire because again, with a 4 plus and vulnerable save and a 4 plus armor save that could go to a 3 plus with cover, but again, you do need to be careful of that as it will strip your wounds quite quickly. And it's also not great at dealing damage against tough enemy units as well, so you need to be mindful of where you're putting it up to and what might be facing it. Finally though, placement is really important for this unit, and that opens it up to a lot of dangerous situations. But looking at its strengths now, its main one is how good it is at keeping your units within synapse range, especially if you overextend, or you're an aggressive player. Its other abilities are also quite good as well, especially when calling for Shadows in the Warp, because again that can come in quite clutch. It also has some potential to sit on objectives and then score some secondaries, like deploy teleport homers or even cleanse, and it can do some decent shooting into infantry units, especially in Overwatch, so it does make your opponent think a little bit about that before charging in or moving too close. It's also very useful in a lot of detachments, especially maybe the Vanguard Onslaught Detachment and possibly this Synaptic Nexus, but the Vanguard Onslaught Detachment is my favourite for this model. Now when looking at its mission play, the Neuro Tyrant can be used to either stay in the backfield by itself and then spread Synapse to those units that are moving too far out or are just moving to a certain board edge that there are no Synapse creatures. You could also give the Neuro Tyrant a Bodyguard and then you have more protection when you push forward so then you can keep multiple different units within synapse range, either within the bubble close to it or through its ability, like Neuroloids. Because it's also a character, you could also give the Neuro Tyrant an enhancement, and that can really benefit the army. And because this model can be taken in multiple different detachments, again, it's really up to what enhancement you think benefits the army. So for the helpful units part, we'll first look at the bodyguard units available for the Neuro Tyrant. First up, we have the Neurogons, and that's really great for expanding that synapse range of the army. However, they are quite squishy, so you still have to be pretty careful of where your placement of the Neurotyrant and the Neurogons are. You also have the Tyrant Guard, 
the second option. And this will give the Nero Tyrant a 5 plus feel no pain, so it's really great if coming across precision weapons. And with that plus one to hit and possibly plus one to wound, that's really great for the Tyrant Guard, especially in combat. And we know that the Neuro Tyrant can't really hold its own in combat. So just having a Tyrant Guard there could be really great defensively. And it makes your opponent think about trying to take it out either from afar or having to sacrifice a unit to possibly kill it. Some other helpful units would be the Psychophage, which gives the Neuro Tyrant and possibly its Bodyguard units a 6 plus feel no pain. The Venifrobes will give the unit the benefit of cover and possibly the stealth ability with the bodyguard unit as they share keywords. And then you have the Zoanthropes for a 6 plus and vulnerable save, but that's more important for the bodyguard unit and not so much for the Neuro Tyrant itself. So my verdict for the Neuro Tyrant is that even though the profile is very middling, for its own abilities and the bodyguard units that can attach itself to the Neuro Tyrant, I see it as a very useful unit especially if you know you're playing with a lot of deep striking units that are really important for mission play and scoring those secondary points, especially though if you're playing a Vanguard Onslaught Detachment with being able to pick units up from the table, put them into strategic reserves, and then put them back onto the field. It's very important that you can keep them within Synapse, and with the Neuro Tyrant, you should be able to do that continuously. Also, if you're an aggressive player, I'd also recommend the Neuro Tyrant so that you can save yourself from having to think about overextending or trying to hold yourself back and being too careful. This way you don't have to worry about battle shock and you can push those units forward that need to extend further than the normal six inches and find themselves out of synapse range. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, feel free to click the like button, comment what you think of the Neuro Tyrant and which bodyguard unit you might want to put it with. And if you like the content, subscribe for more.